Hi, I'm Oakley Jones with the Harkin Tech team. One of the things that we get a lot of questions about in the field, at regattas, or on the phone when people call in to our tech team is which way to wrap the sail around the headstay on the below deck furler. Prior to 2014, on a fleet in boat such as the J70, there was one correct way to do it. We had one opening down here on the port side or left side of the furler where the line would go into the drum and wrap around the drum in a clockwise fashion, which would mean as you are furling the sail, the sail is wrapping up counterclockwise and the clue would always hang on the starboard side of the roll. After 2014, we've switched and put a second hole on the furler to give you the option of switching from the sail being on the starboard side of the roll or the port side of the roll, depending on which way you'd want to roll the sail up. Two important things to think about when you are doing this is one, the size of the knot, which is stuffed up inside the drum here. You need a nice small knot right at the end of the furling line, small enough so that it doesn't hit the bridge down here as you're furling. The other thing is when the sail is completely furled up, you want a minimum of two wraps on the drum in here. You have to crawl yourself forward and look in and see that there are two wraps in there. With the line all the way out and no wraps on the drum, go up on deck and in this particular instance, turn the furler in a clockwise manner and the line will spool up without hitting any of the opening on the guard. Roll it up until the drum gets full, go up on deck, hoist the sail, attach the jib sheets, then pull the furling line until the sail is completely wrapped up, cleat the furling line off and the jib sheets, go back down below deck, and then look underneath and make sure that there is a minimum of two wraps of furling line around the drum. Some sailors have gone so far as to change the furling line that's supplied to something that they feel is a little softer. On the J70, for example, it is a 25 foot piece of furling line that starts off as six millimeter in diameter, nice and fuzzy and easy to grip, that goes down to a four mil piece, tapered down to a four mil piece that gets wrapped around the drum. Once again, my name is Oakley Jones with the Harkin Tech Team and never hesitate to give us a call that's what we're here for.